what we're really talking about is as writers being able to suspend apocalyptic catastrophe in the sense of an ending in the making of our plays. That um, the ability to use other plot forms, the ability to use other strategies that come from Samuel Beckett, the ability to have what he thinks of, or what I, I think of as talk tick rather than tick tock that's going to set off the bomb. You have talk tick, talk tick, which I don't know about you, but I certainly experience in every faculty meeting <laughs> that I ever have. It is endless, time without end is faculty meeting time. And we right now culturally are extremely resistant to producing plays that are not supplying us with the crack cocaine of linear plot Hmm. And it is a crack cocaine and the methamphetamine of spectacle. We are overstimulated children right now, culturally. And the ability to sustain a no exit, right? Mm -hmm. Or an end game. Um, or all of the amazing gifts I think Samuel Beckett gave. Samuel Beckett, to my point, I don't believe that there's a, one plot form. I keep somehow either reading that I said, you know, women write a certain plot form, and I, I don't believe that. Um, but I do believe that by Samuel Beckett saying it's not all about men in conflict, mm -hmm. it could be about men eating a carrot <laughs> and just waiting, that that actually de-emphasized the primacy of plot, which has always been, I think, an exclusionary way uh, to keep women writers out of the theater, historically. That is, how can you write about military experience? How can you write about war? How can you write about the business place, historically, if you are female? Because you have not experienced action in a public sphere, and certainly as women you're not supposed to have access to speech in public. So, and I'm not talking about the 20th century, obviously, this huge rupture that occurred. Do you know what I mean? But to me, I often think if Samuel Beckett had gone before Virginia Woolf and had shown how to dramatize stasis, I wonder if Virginia Woolf might have written plays. Because you can feel Henry James stumbling in his plays trying to find out how to sustain what his novels do and only having a 19th century receptacle to put that in. Does that sort of make sense? So I think the Beckett uh, model right now, and I think Irene Fournez, and I think so many wonderful contemporary playwrights are not getting through to a production level. Um, I think this has been a difficulty for Nilo Cruz's work and that Nilo also having been a pro, you know, really uh, mentored by Irene Fornes, um, is all about that, that sustaining stasis, about emotional states. And I think it's thrilling now to see uh, another playwright we're in conversation with, Sarah Rule, bringing forward different modes of dramatic action other than the Aristotelian linear plot that heads towards a catastrophe.